All right, guys, so uh, we just left the uh, hardware store. We got our Meat Church products for the ribs and chicken. Now we're headed to the store to get the ribs and chicken. See you soon. All right, guys, so we're here at Tom Thumb, North Carrollton. Uh, I'm here with my buddy, Joe, the meat man. Joe? How's it going? This is all the millions and millions and millions of YouTube folks out there, Joe. Let me tell you something, guys. This guy is the one that hooks me up with the best meat in town, okay? So they had ribs on sale today. I didn't like the frozen ones they had. So Joe said, hey, buddy, I got some over here for you. Check these out. So, Joe, today we're going to do something very special for you. We're going to do a Memphis dry rib rub. Oh, that sounds delicious. Never done it. But we're doing chicken wings too, baby, the same way. Of course. And we're doing Meat Church out of Waxahachie, Texas. We're going to use the Meat Church products. We're going to use Holy Gospel, and we're going to use the uh, Texas Sugar. And they're going to be on your ribs. Well, I know it'll be good. You always do it up for us. All right. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate you saying hi to hey, the people, man. Hey, take care, man. Guys, we will, uh, we'll see you at the pit. Damn it, it's hot out here, y'all. It's time to go international with a little paleta de mango. Now, this is a nice little mango chili beer with lime, guys. Uh, brewed by Rara and Sons. Uh, never tried it before. But I can tell you, it's almost like drinking a beer and eating a plate of fajitas at the same time. It's really good. All right, guys, so today we're going to do something a little bit different on the pit today. Do something we've only done one other time, but I've never showcased it on the channel. Today, guys, we went up to Tom Thumb, and we saw our butcher, Joe. Joe hooked us up with some slamming St. Louis-style ribs, fresh. Uh, they're really trimmed up nicely, guys. I got them for $1.97 a pound. He also hooked me up with some beautiful uh, uh, frozen, uh, previously frozen, uh, whole wings, three-piece wings, the N-shaped wing. Uh, today, guys, we're going to feature... Uh, Two different rubs, same company. Uh, one guy makes it, Matt Pittman over at, uh, uh, what is it, Meat Church down in Waxahachie, just south of here, about 40, 50 miles. Uh, I'm not affiliated with those guys, uh, but I do like his videos, never met the guy, but I do endorse their products as far as what I think of them. Matt doesn't even know I exist, but that's okay. But Matt, if you're watching this, bro, I can move your stuff for you. <laughs> Today, guys, we're going to feature the newest signature flavor uh, from Matt over there at Meat Church. It's called Texas Sugar. Okay, we're going to use that as our base rub. And then that's kind of a sweeter, kind of a medium flavor, kind of sweeter rub. We're going to come over the top of that with the Holy Gospel, which is a little bit more bold, pepper forward kind of product. So, guys, we're going to hit these ribs and these chicken wings up with the same rub, and we're not going to wrap them. We're not going to sauce them. This is going to be a Memphis-style dry rub product, both the wings and the chicken. Why? Well, two reasons. Here in Texas, we don't do dry rub. We just don't. I mean, that's just something we don't do. That's not our style of flavors. But, guys, I want to challenge myself to see if I can make them come out perfectly, tender, with no crutch, no wrap, no none of that. And tonight, we're going in the studio with Jerry and the boys, uh, Sin Cara, on YouTube, Sin Cara, shout out Jerry. Uh, and we're gonna go in the studio and those guys don't need to be hitting the faders with a bunch of barbecue sauce on their fingers. So we're doing a dry rib for those guys. So they don't even know it. Uh, so I'm gonna bring these in as a gift. So guys, hang around. I'm out in the heat. You stay in your seat, get some of that AC. But guys, get you one of them coldies. Cause today's show, it's gonna be hot and it starts right now. All right, guys, back here in the kitchen now. Uh, we've got our uh, mise en place set up here, guys. Uh, what we've got is we've got our yellow mustard that we're going to use as a binder. Guys, I normally do not use, well, I say normally do not, 60 to 70% of the time, I do not use a binder or a slather. 
However, in this case, guys, I'm going to rely on this to help protect my product. Remember what I told you, this is going to be a no wrap product. So we're not going to get any steaming. It's going to be a dry heat. I'm going to count on this to help us out. Okay, then we're going to go in here with some uh, uh, Meat Church Texas Sugar Barbecue Rub. Uh, Matt Pittman over there, great freaking product. I've already tried that. That would be good on cereal right there, I'm going to tell you. And then this was a little bit more bolder. It's called the, uh, uh, the, the Holy Gospel, okay? Guys, this one here is like pepper forward, okay? You can see it's paprika and... See if I can see, phone will, uh, I mean, you could see guys, it's, it's definitely paprika and pepper forward. Whereas this one's more of a, more of a brown sugar. Um, now this one's no, no pushover guys. This is not like putting brown sugar, although it looks like it. Uh, I think there's cumin and all kinds of good stuff in there. So anyway, uh, we've got our knife here, our boning knife. We've got our, uh, spritz with our apple cider vinegar. We've got our cold beer. Now guys in Memphis, they would not spritz. This is. I don't know who came up with this, but uh, I like it better than mopping. They would use a mopping brush or a mop. And actually, in the old days, they used to go to the janitorial supply place and these big open pits, you know, that were doing a whole hodge. They would actually use a regular mop like you'd mop the floor with and then mop those half hogs uh, or actually those uh, uh, spatchcocked hogs. They would open those hogs up and as they would cook, they would baste them with a big uh, a basting mop. Guys, we don't do that here in Texas. I couldn't find, everywhere I went, guys, today, I could not find any mopping uh, sauce or whatever, mop or whatever it's called. I think it's just called mop, but nobody had it. We don't do that here in Texas. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take this apple cider vinegar. We're going to cut it 50-50 with water, and we're going to put it in a spray bottle, and we're going to let it rip tater chip. Let's get it done. All right, guys, we've got to fire up to where we want it, which is 275. And here are the ribs rubbed down after the mustard slather. Now guys, as you know, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, I cook a lot of ribs. And when I do, especially on St. Louis style, which is what these are, I always pull the membrane on the back. Today, guys, I opted not to do that because again, these are no wrap ribs and we want all the protection we can get. So what I did was I just scored it, put my mustard slather on and then seasoned it. Okay, generally I won't even season the backside of the rib because it's almost pointless. Uh, but today I did stuff a little bit different. So uh, let's get these on real quick and we'll holler at you in a minute. A little bit of rain ain't going to stop this cook, baby. Look at this. It's already flooding, man. We're still cooking along at 225 degrees, baby. So we just washed our chicken wings. We've got them out here on our sheet pan, and we are going to hit them with our two rubs, just like we did the ribs. And we're going to put them on the smoker. Guys, it's been raining cats and dogs here for the last couple of hours, so if I don't get these done on the smoker, we might have to put these in the oven, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is bring it a little bit closer. Normally, we have a steel plate there with baffles in it, and those are normally closed to divert smoke to the smoking chamber. Right now, we want smoke to come and heat to come right there, so we're going to add our chicken wings to the grilling part, and here are our wings, guys. Let the camera kind of adjust. It's the same two rubs we used for the other uh, cook with the ribs that we did. So I'm just going to put these guys on here. Okay. And when you're using three piece wings, you want to kind of try to spread the joint out as much as you can to let heat get in there so that they'll cook, uh, you know, all the way through there. And this is really kind of the best of both worlds here, guys. We're gonna be able to smoke and grill at the same time. That's the versatility of a vertical offset smoker. Well, with a warming oven. 
you get the you get the gist of it. Put these all on there like that. We will have to come back and touch up the tops with uh, with more rub. But the ideal here is, guys, we just close this up. And that should come up to temp real quick. Be right back. So in just a short time it took me to go in and grab the spices, we're already up to 225 in this main chamber right here. So this may work out pretty good. As you guys know, when you're cooking chicken wings, you wanna you don't wanna smoke them for a long time like you like you would your, your ribs. You wanna do more of a hot and fast cook because you wanna render that skin crispy. The layer of fat is right underneath the skin, just like you and I have. I'm gonna render all that crap out of there so we can have good crispy bite through skin. So some of that. Come back with the holy gospel. Now, Matt Pittman, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you like the fact that I'm losing about half what I'm trying to pour on these wings. <laughs> Means they gotta go buy more, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let these go. We're gonna check them after one hour. And we're gonna spritz them with our vinegar solution and we'll see where we're at then. All right guys, so what I did here was um, I'm gonna jack up the fire. I just put another split on. We're really gonna crank the heat up here I'm gonna try to get that to about 375 uh, to crisp the skin. I went ahead and flipped the chicken wings, as you can see. Uh, they're not cooked through on the first side, but I'm really wanting to crisp that skin up and then flip them again once the skin has been crisped. And then I'm going to uh, uh, let them finish cooking on that side. So I'll bring you back when they're done. We'll spritz here in a minute. Ain't nothing better, y'all. Kicking back, watching the smoke roll, smelling the smells. Now, I was eating a couple of tangerines earlier for my lunch, and I took the peelings and I threw them in the firebox. Uh, I want to perfume those chicken wings a little bit, uh, if I can, with the oils from that uh, tangerine skin, so, or peeling. All right, Matt, back in a minute. Okay, guys, just uh, one more little uh, story to tell you here. Probably bombarding y'all with more information you ever wanted to know, but in and amongst all these rainstorms we've been having today, I've been having to really hustle to manage my fire. Uh, my wood stays inside the yard over there on a uh, on a uh, kind of like a log uh, carrier kind of deal, and it did get rained on, so I'm getting a little bit more smoke than what I'd want. But uh, th that's not what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say is anybody that's got an LSG already knows this, but folks that don't have one, guys, I know I always harp on spending the money and getting a good pit and all that. Get whatever you can afford, okay? Uh, I'm certainly not trying to be an elitist when I say that. It's just that <sighs> something worth noticing, okay? Like I've got my ribs on. They've been on six and a half hours. Okay, now we're down to 200 degrees. You want to talk about low and slow when you're not wrapping your ribs. Um, you know, I'm cooking at 200 degrees in the actual main chamber, okay? And then you come over here and you come over to where I'm doing the chicken and I'm at uh, 340 degrees, okay? So I'm basically grilling those sap suckers right there, okay? So I'm actually cooking two different proteins at two very different temperatures, 140 uh, degree difference. Um, so you can't do that on a pellet grill that I know of. You can't do it on a, a Weber kettle that I'm aware of. Um, but so that's another reason guys, if you can get a modular type uh, compartmentalized smoker, uh, you can actually do different things with it. Uh, it's very versatile. So um, anyway, I just want to share that. We will take a peek at these wings because I need to see if it's time to flip them yet or not. Yeah, they're coming along nice. Coming along nice. Let's go check those ribs.
those little dog snacks there, guys, those are the uh, trimmings from the ribs. Yeah, these are coming along really nice. We're starting to get bone pull away, okay? That tells me our ribs are getting close. They're not done yet, but they're getting close, guys. I would say another 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not gonna rush these, you know, when you don't wrap your ribs, you've got to go low and slow, hence the 200 degrees. So we'll check back with y'all in just a minute. Hope y'all having a great Friday. Friday. We're winding down to the end of the cook here. The ribs are done. Uh, the chicken wings uh, temperature has fallen off to 275. On the grilling side, my fire's just about good, done, which is good because I gotta get the hell out of here and get the studio. But guys, I want you to take a look at these wings now. These are no wrap wings, no sauce, no nothing. Now guys, if you can't taste that, and all that darkness you're seeing is the sugars from the meat church rub uh, that is on there. So uh, I'm gonna pull these and I'm going to pull the ribs and then we will, uh, I'll show you what it looks like on a pan. All right, guys, we just pulled the uh, just pulled the ribs off. Look at those bad boys. Dry rub, no foil, no wrap, no nothing. All right, let's pull these wings off, guys, yeah? And look at these guys, nice and floppy. Oh, yeah, babe. You're sure hoping I drop something, don't you, buddy? <laughs> You're hoping against hope that daddy dropped something, huh, boy? Y'all, in just case y'all don't know it, these dogs, they're my barbecue people, these dogs. I know most of y'all can relate to that, that have dogs, you know. Can't have a barbecue without your dog sniffing around all the time. They want one, too. They want one too. Shut off the stacks. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's show you what we got here. Do a little flyover. It starts to move. Okay, so you got your uh, dry rubbed wings there, guys. That uh, were smoked and grilled. And then you got your ribs there. I think those ribs turned out really well. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz those again. I think I'm gonna let those go another 20 or 30 minutes in the oven, those ribs. They're not quite where I want them, but those wings are. So, guys, if you've stuck around this long in the video, man, I'll give you two of those bad boys. It's been a mother beep. It's been raining cats and dogs. Take your breaks. Right now it's hot and humid. I'm gonna go take a shower. By the time I get out of the shower, those ribs should be done, done, done. Head to the studio, feed the guys, and have a great weekend, barbecue rock star. Out.